So first of all, uh, let's just, I'm not much of an artist, but let's give it a shot, huh? Uh, let's say that this is the eye. And this is the outermost layer. The outermost layer of the eye is made out of what kind of tissue? Think about it. It's tough. It gives the eye its integrity as a globe. Okay, it's connective tissue. Okay, so the outer layer of the eye is connective tissue. Some of this gets a little redundant. It's for a reason. I want to. I just want to make the point. Okay. So it's connected. It's connective tissue. In the front part, that connective tissue layer is called the the cornea. That's right, the cornea. Okay. And in the back part of the eye, that connective tissue layer is called the sclera. And what's a feature about the cornea that's different than the sclera? They both have all the same things of connective tissue. They both have basically fibroblasts. They both have collagen. They both have glycosaminoglycans. They both are composed of the same things that connective tissue is composed of anywhere in the body, like in tendon or in ligament or in any other connective tissue. <clears throat> But the cornea is special. It's special because those layers of collagen are perfectly parallel. So there are sheets of collagen. And those sheets of collagen are perfectly parallel. And because they're perfectly parallel, light can penetrate through, not be interfered, uh, and then be transparent. And so the main property of the cornea is that it's transparent and it's transparent because of those sheets of collagen being perfectly parallel to each other. So I like to think of it like if you open up a ream of paper and you go through the sheets, that's what the that's what the the the, 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 the connective tissue of the, the cornea is like. Whereas the sclera, if you look at those, those collagen sheets, they're interdigitated, if you will. I guess that's a word. Uh, and, and so when the light goes through, it gets interfered and it becomes opaque. So the sclera is white or opaque because it has a different arrangement of the connective tissue layers. Okay? But the collagen. Now, where the sclera, is, there's a term here, <clears throat> those are the two components of the connective tissue layer. The two components are in the front of the eye, the cornea, and in the back of the eye, the sclera. But there's one other term here that I want to introduce because you're going you're to hear it. If you're a round ophthalmologist, if you read ophthalmology notes, if you talk to ophthalmologists, if you're around the eye, you're going to hear this term, and I want you to know what it is. And that is where the cornea meets the sclera, where the clear cornea meets the white sclera, there's a junction. And this junction is called the limbus. And limbus is Latin for border. So it's the border of the clear cornea and the white sclera. <clears throat> and in surgery, you'll hear surgeons say, let's make our incision a half a millimeter anterior to the limbus or a millimeter anterior to the limbus or uh, let's put the needle 
six millimeters posterior to the limbus. So the limbus is an, imp is an important landmark in, um, uh, in surgery as well as in describing lesions. The lesion extends four millimeters past the limbus onto the, onto the cornea, for example. So I want you to know this word, limbus. So the connective tissue layer of the eye has two components, the cornea in the front and the sclera in the back, and they're joined at the limbus, which is um, right around the cornea, okay? The next layer in the eye, the, the next layer in, is a vascular layer. So it's vascular tissue. Vascular. And the name of this layer, most people or a lot of people will say the name of that layer is the choroid. Well, that's partly right because the choroid is part of this layer. It's the part in the back. But it's actually got three components to it. And the name of the vascular layer is the uvea. Some people will call it the uveal tract but it's, I'm gonna call it the uvea, okay? And if you use the term uvea, everyone will know what you're talking about. And the uvea uh, comes from Greek for grape, and that's because when the Greeks were doing their dissections of eyes way back thousands of years ago, uh, they would peel the sclera off, and when they peeled the sclera off, they looked and it looked just like a bunch of blood vessels. It looked like a grape, like a peeled grape. And, and so you have an assignment here, okay? What, I, I want you to go out to the grocery store, and I don't want you to get a green grape, I don't want you to get a red grape, I want you, well, I want you to get the darkest grape you can get, and peel it. You've all done this, but I want you to do it again. And peel the grape, and as you peel the grape, you'll see, that looks like a bunch of blood vessels. And that's exactly what the that's exactly what the eye looks like when you peel the, the, the connective tissue layer off um, of the next layer in the uvea. So the uvea has that vascular peeled grape look to it. Okay, and remember we, we mentioned that some people will call it the choroid. Well, uh, there are three components to it. In the front of the eye, it's called the iris. And behind that is called the ciliary body. And then behind that is called the choroid. So there are three components to the vascular layer of the eye. Okay. One is the choroid. That's all this area in the back. One is the ciliary body. And then in the front, it's the iris. So the three components of the uveal tract are in the front, the iris, behind that the ciliary body, and behind that the choroid. Very good. Okay? Those are the three layers.